Complex Regional Pain Syndrome, or CRPS for short, is a pain disorder that can occur in all ages, including children and adolescents. The Center for Pain Therapy for Young People in Garmisch-Partenkirchen has specialized in treating this condition for many years. Young patients and adolescents are treated as inpatients. They learn about their condition and the treatment options available. The care is delivered by a multidisciplinary team of professionals. Well, I twisted my ankle during a PE lesson in school and then my foot began to hurt so much that I couldn't stand on it anymore. My mother picked me up from school and we went to the doctor. The foot was x-rayed straight away but nothing was broken. And how's your foot now? How severe is your pain if zero is no pain at all and ten is very, very bad? Nine. Oh, that's severe. I'd like to have a look at your foot. Let's go to the examination couch. Can you wiggle your toes? A good tool to help diagnose CRPS is the Budapest criteria. They check, among other things, whether there is any pain, swelling or discoloration. The findings vary. Soft tissue swelling is common. The affected area can be cooler or warmer. And the skin might be of blue or reddish color. Often the affected part of the body sweats more. Growth of the fine hair and nails can be altered. Even light touches can be very painful. In most cases, the condition occurs after an injury, such as bruise, sprain, fracture or following surgery. However, in children and adolescents, CRPS can develop without any external factors. Some of the processes that take place within the body during CRPS are shown here. In the cause of the disease, cells get damaged. Cell death causes inflammation. Immune cells rush to the affected area to repair this. The inflammation causes the blood vessels to expand. The blood circulation in the area is increased. This causes soft tissue swelling and overheating of the region. The inflammation makes the wall of blood vessels more permeable. Fluid penetrates the surrounding tissue. This further increases the swelling. Within the skin and muscles we have free nerve endings called pain receptors. They process the signals and pass them on to the brain via the nerves. There the signals are processed and this is felt as pain. Transmitter substances being produced during inflammation make the receptors more sensitive. Inactive receptors are activated. As a result, even light stimuli, such as a simple touch, trigger pain. Pain signals are amplified and sent to the brain faster. Within the spinal cord are cells that inhibit or reduce pain. In the case of CRPS, this pain inhibition no longer works properly. The body's transmitters that usually evoke feelings of happiness reduce the transmission of pain signals. In CRPS, these happiness transmitters are no longer sufficiently produced due to stress reactions. The automatic nervous system is altered in CRPS. It controls all processes that we cannot deliberately influence. It is always active even during sleep and controls for example breathing, heart rate, blood circulation in the skin, sweating, freezing, as well as digestion. The impaired activity of the nervous system can lead to increased sweating, discoloration of the skin and change in skin temperature in the affected region. Our entire body is mapped out on a part of our brain's surface called the homunculus. Parts of the body that are meant to feel a lot, such as the hands or the mouth, are allocated a large area here. Due to the pain-related underusage of the affected region, the responsible area in the homunculus is reduced in size. This means that the hand or foot is perceived differently and the feeling of belonging to the body and the perception of the position can be lost. First of all, you need a very individualized program. You need to be responsive to the individual patient. Make sure that the patient feels taken seriously and that the pain is real, that it is not just imagined. And then, from a wide range of available therapies, put together the combination of treatments, so to speak, that will help this specific child or this adolescent. Therefore, there is not just one CRPS therapy, but an individual therapy for every CRPS patient. In our clinic, we have two options for treating CRPS. There is the Garmisch therapy concept, in which desensitizing and activating measures are used. Alternatively, the graded motor imagery works with a patient's imagination, such as mirror therapy. 
Our unique approach is an inpatient therapy of three to four weeks carried out by a multi-professional pain team, meaning that a group of specially trained therapists from different professional backgrounds, nursing, medical service and others, develop a program together for the individual patient and then implement it together with the patient. Adults with this condition are often treated with various drugs. These are proven to be less effective in children and adolescents. There are also unwanted side effects. Therefore, medication only plays a minor role in the treatment. The severe pains and limitations can lead to sadness or anxiety. It is presumed that psychologically stressful events are involved in the development of CRPS. Regular psychological sessions are an integral part of the therapy. The Garmisch therapy concept focuses on touch and movement of the affected body part. The patients complete an intense and activating program. The body relearns to perceive stimuli such as touch, warmth, cold, vibration and movement again and not to misinterpret these as pain. This is what happens, for example, in the alternating bath, where hot and cold stimuli are added in turns. This improves blood circulation and reduces swelling. The so-called desensitation has a similar effect. Here, the body learns to feel pressure and touch in a normal way again, without sensing pain. In addition, it helps young people to lose their fear of being touched. In the feeler box, objects have to be guessed by touch. To do this, the foot must be consciously controlled and correctly directed by the mind. These sensory motor skills can also be trained by drawing in foam. During the movement training, the affected foot or hand must be used consciously. The foot is rolled from heel to toe and the body weight is evenly distributed. This can be trained while walking or even through play. During a massage, gentle touches work on the affected and surrounding area. This is pain relieving, relaxing, beneficial for the metabolism and soothing for the nervous system. Lymphatic drainage achieves an increased flow of tissue fluids from the swollen areas. This reduces the pressure in the affected area and has a pain relieving effect, decreasing tissue tension and thus the pressure on the nerves. During pain therapy, the patients learn to perform the demonstrated exercises on their own. With a TENS device, they can set light electric impulses. These impulses support the pain system in inhibiting the transmission of pain. There is yet another therapy approach. For some patients, graded motor imagery can be an option. Exercises are mainly carried out mentally. The affected body part is neither touched nor consciously moved. The idea of free and comfortable movement alone leads to an improvement of the CRPS. The program consists of three independent elements, left-right discrimination, explicit motor imagery and mirror therapy. In left-right discrimination, the patient decides whether the pictures show a left or right hand. During explicit motor imagery, the patient imagines that the hand is in the same position as the one on the picture. The children and adolescents can also practice through play. During mirror therapy, the affected part of the body is hidden from sight. Instead, the patient looks at the mirror image of his healthy arm or leg. This leads to the optical illusion that the affected part of the body is healthy and can be used normally. Over time, this will lead to a reduction in pain and improved mobility. In addition to these two CRPS-specific approaches, other strategies that are generally effective for pain therapy may also be helpful. In a state of relaxation, the pain can sometimes be imagined to be sent on vacation, to be shrunk or released or replaced by pleasant feelings. True to the motto, the body follows the thoughts. Meditative movement therapies such as Qigong and Tai Chi combine relaxation and movement. Body-related fears are gently reduced and the joy of movement is awakened. The inner balance is restored. Pain therapy based on martial arts also strengthens self-confidence. Bottled up feelings such as anger and frustration are being reduced. It's time to save our 
In the dance units, the young people move freely, face their fears and have fun. It's not about perfection, but the joy of movement. Animals are good pain therapists. For example, when handling a pony, the focus shifts to the pony and the patient's hands function unconsciously. When leading the pony, walking is automatically trained. In the clinic school, the patients apply the strategies and aids they have learned. This makes learning easier when back in school at home. This program ensures that the young people's lives return to normal again towards the end of their stay. At this point, they have many options to use their exercises playfully and enjoyably. What are you looking forward to the most when you get home? Well, most of all, I'm definitely happy to see my friends and family again. And now I have so much more time because I don't have to keep running to appointments and don't need a therapist because I know enough exercises to do at home. Writing in school will be easier and I'll lead a regular life again and I will no longer have so many restrictions in sports at school or at home. So you can join in again normally because the pain has gotten better. Exactly. With these intensive treating methods, most patients with CRPS can be professionally helped at the Center for Pain Therapy for Young People in Garmisch-Partenkirchen. The inpatient stay was filled with personalized care, new therapeutic experiences and playful events. The children and young people go home with confidence, equipped with their own program and lots of new ideas.